Let's dive into the fascinating anatomy of budgies, their feather structure, neurological development and skeletal adaptation for flight. Where would you like to start? The respiratory system of budgies is a fascinating and complex structure that sets them apart from many other animals, including humans. Unlike mammals, budgies have a highly efficient respiratory system that includes a unique set of air sacs in addition to their lungs, which allows for a continuous flow of air through their respiratory system, even when they exhale. This continuous airflow is crucial for their high metabolic demands, especially during flight. A key component of this system is the syrinx, located at the base of the trachea. This organ is highly specialized and is responsible for the wide range of vocalizations that budgies are known for, including their ability to mimic human speech. The syrinx's muscles modulate the pitch and tone of the sounds produced, enabling budgies to produce complex and varied calls and songs. Another distinct feature of budgies' respiratory anatomy is the absence of a diaphragm. Their breathing is facilitated by movements of the rib cage and the use of air sacs, which extend into the bones, a condition known as pneumaticity. This adaptation not only aids in respiration, but also reduces overall body weight, enhancing flight efficiency. The structure of the budgie's lungs is more rigid and honeycombed in comparison to mammalian lungs, allowing for more efficient gas exchange. The air sacs, which do not play a direct role in gas exchange, help in maintaining the airflow through the lungs, ensuring that there's always fresh air, rich in oxygen passing through, even during the outbreath. Budgies have an amazing skeleton designed for flight with fuses and bones, a keel-shaped sternum for powerful muscles, special wing bones, and a fish bone enchanting wing beat efficiency. The skeletal system of birds, including budgies, is remarkably adapted for flight, featuring several key modifications that enhance their aerial abilities. One of the most significant adaptations is the fusion of bones, which reduces the overall number of bones while providing a rigid, strong structure. This is evident in the Pyga style, where the tail vertebrae are fused, aiding in tail feather control during flight. The sternum, or breastbone, of a bird is another crucial adaptation. It is large and keel-shaped, serving as an anchor point for powerful flight muscles. This keel is a defining characteristic of most flying birds as it provides the necessary muscle attachment area for the wings to generate lift. The bones of the wings, specifically the humerus, radius and ulna, are also adapted for flight. The humerus, which is connected to the pectoral muscles, is particularly robust, supporting the vigorous wing beats needed for flight. The wing bones are elongated and have a specific alignment that allows for effective wing folding, crucial for both aerodynamics and maneuverability. The clavicles, or collarbones, fuse together to form the furcula, commonly known as the wishbone. This structure acts like a spring, storing and releasing energy during the wing beat cycle. It plays a key role in enhancing flight efficiency by helping to stabilize the shoulder joint and distribute the energy generated by the wing muscles. Budgies have extraordinary vision with four color receptors, including UV perception and wide field of view, adapted for effective monitoring in their environment. Budgies, like many birds, possess extraordinary vision and color perception capabilities that are significantly different from human sight. A key aspect of their visual system is tetrachromatic vision, which means they have four types of color receptors or cone cells in their eyes, 
compared to the three types trichromatic vision in humans. This extra cone allows them to perceive ultraviolet UV light, a spectrum of light invisible to humans. Budgie feathers glow under UV light, a phenomenon that's not visible to the human eye under normal lighting conditions. The presence of fluorescent pigments in their feathers absorbs UV light and re-emits it, causing the glow. The UV reflective properties also assist in species and individual recognition among budgies. The presence of UV vision in budgies plays a crucial role in their behavior, mating rituals, and food foraging as many plants and feathers reflect UV light, which can signal the health or attractiveness of a potential mate or the ripeness of food. Additionally, the structure of a budgie's eye is specialized for high visual acuity. The density of photoreceptor cells in their retina is remarkably high, enabling them to see with great detail. This is particularly important for spotting predators or prey from great distances. Their eyes also have a higher flicker fusion rate, which means they can perceive rapid movements better than humans, a critical adaptation for survival in the wild. The positioning of their eyes gives them a wide field of view, allowing them to monitor their surroundings effectively. They have a limited degree of binocular vision, overlap of the field of view of both eyes, which is useful for depth perception, but they primarily rely on monocular vision, each eye used separately for a panoramic view of their environment. Budgie's feathers made of keratin are crucial for flight, temperature regulation, visual signaling, maintained through daily preening and molting for their well-being. The feather structure and maintenance of budgies, as in all birds, are complex and critical for their survival and well-being. Budgie feathers are made of keratin, the same protein found in human hair and nails, and are arranged in a layered structure that ensures both insulation and aerodynamic efficiency. Each feather has a central shaft, rachis, with branching structures called barbs, and further subdivisions known as barbules, which interlock to form a smooth, flat surface, vein. The vein is the flat, broad part of the feather that most people are familiar with. The vein's primary function is to provide the necessary surface area for flight and insulation. After feather. The after feather is a secondary structure that arises from the base of some feathers, especially down feathers. It resembles a smaller feather with its own shaft and barbs. The after feather increases the insulation provided by the feather, trapping more air and enhancing the bird's ability to maintain body temperature. Calamus. Also known as the quill, the calamus is the hollow, cylindrical base of the feather that attaches to the bird's skin. It lacks barbs and is the portion of the feather embedded within the follicle in the skin. The calamus has a series of small openings at the base that allow nerves and blood vessels to enter the feather, providing it with nutrients during its growth phase. Feathers play several key roles. They enable flight by providing the necessary lift and thrust, aid in temperature regulation by trapping air close to the body, and often play a part in visual signaling as their colors can be used in mating displays and social interactions. Budgies, in particular, exhibit a wide range of vibrant colors in their feathers, which can be enhanced or altered by exposure to different types of light, diet, and overall health. The maintenance of feathers is a critical daily activity for budgies. This process, known as preening, involves the use of their beak to clean, realign, and condition the feathers. During preening, budgies often spread a protective oil from a gland near the base of their tail across their feathers. This oil helps to keep the feathers flexible, waterproof and in good condition. Molting, the process of shedding and regrowing feathers, is another vital aspect of feather maintenance. Budgies typically molt once or twice a year, 
shedding old feathers to make way for new growth. This process is energy intensive and can affect a budgie's temperature regulation and flight. So they often consume more food and require a warm, stress-free environment during this period. Budgies, despite their small brain size, exhibit high intelligence with efficient neurological development, showcasing remarkable learning abilities, social cognition and memory for survival in the wild. The neurological development and learning capabilities of budgies are a testament to their high intelligence among avian species. Their brains, while small in size, are incredibly efficient and adapted for complex cognitive processes. A significant feature of budgie neurology is the well-developed cerebrum, particularly the hyperpallium, which is analogous to the human cerebral cortex and is involved in advanced functions such as problem-solving and learning. Budgies show remarkable learning abilities, especially in vocalization and mimicry. This skill is supported by an area in their brain known as the song system, which comprises interconnected nuclei that control and learn song patterns. The plasticity of the budgie brain allows them to imitate sounds from their environment, including human speech. This ability is not just mechanical repetition. Budgies can associate sounds with meanings and contexts, demonstrating a level of understanding and memory. Another aspect of their neurological prowess is evident in their social behavior. Budgies are highly social creatures, and their brain development is significantly influenced by social interactions. Social learning, including the learning of vocal cues and environmental awareness, is a key part of their neurological and cognitive development. This social learning is facilitated by the release of neurotransmitters like dopamine, which reinforces rewarding social behaviors. Budgies exhibit spatial memory and navigation skills, which are crucial for foraging and avoiding predators in the wild. Their hippocampus, the part of the brain responsible for memory and navigation, is well developed, enabling them to remember locations and navigate complex environments. And that's it. Thank you all for watching. I hope you learned even more about budgies and I hope I will see you in my next video. You are awesome. Thank you for watching and subscribing. See you in my next video.